yeah, these boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Yeah, okay, so, uh, this, these are a, a pair of uh, cowboy boots I got, obviously, and they made, um, they made a few eyebrows raise at uh, my place of work uh, just in this past winter time. And uh, I thought I'd tell the story of these boots because uh, they're, they're kind of interesting to me and they've got uh, a lot of use. I, I've got a heck of a lot more use out of these things than I had anticipated. But um, let me uh, go back a little bit. Yeah, these are actual cowboy boots. Um, and what had happened is uh, a couple of years ago, my wife and I went to Arizona and one of the places that somebody I listened to as a podcast he, who lives in Arizona, he had said, if you're coming this way, definitely, definitely check out Tombstone. And we did. And we really, really enjoyed it. Um, now, what was funny was as we pulled in and parked our car, uh, I saw a lot of people hauling uh, cowboy boots and um, hats and the whole nine yards uh, all back to their uh, shops or all, all back to their cars obviously having checked out the tourist shops and I remember a friend of mine saying yeah I got a pair of cowboy boots once when I can't remember where he went and I had paid about three or four hundred dollars for them and they've sat in the closet ever since so I remember thinking to myself although the temptation is there to buy a pair of cowboy boots while in Tombstone Arizona I'm not going to fall into that trap because I know I'm just going to buy these things and they're going to sit and uh, collect dust or what have you. Now, my friend, I think, got, you know, the crazy um, rattlesnake skin boots with like the, the pointy toe and the tassels and all nine yards. And I was certainly not going to pick up a pair of those. Uh, what these are, now I saw these in a shop at the end of uh, the Tombstone line of shops. And... Um, I had seen in the window these were only $140, and I thought, you know, that's that's pretty reasonable for a pair of boots, especially after what my friend told me. Um, yeah, maybe I'll try those out. And, and I looked at these, and I thought, you know what, these are very generic. I mean, they've got this little uh, metal loop thing on some straps, so uh, they're not completely generic uh, boots, but... For something that might be useful in cosplay, and man, these boots have become useful in cosplay, uh, 140 bucks is not bad. So, went into the shop, tried them out, and I have been very, very pleased with them. So, let me show you inside one of these boots. I'll just take this guy off here. And like a proper cowboy boot, it has a bit of a hug to it, like your foot will slide down there and then almost lock into place, for lack of a better description. The back here does actually, um, it almost feels like you're standing in a puddle, like your foot goes in there and it, it, it holds on. It's only by kind of tilting the thing, it, it actually comes loose and you can pull your foot out. Um, and that's actually why I guess cowboy boots don't have laces on them or anything. And, uh, compared to another pair of uh, boots that I have where there's a zip down the side um, These ones are just you slide them on you slide them off now um, imagine my Dismay so I'm in the shop in Tombstone, Arizona I'm gonna buy myself a pair of cowboy boots, and I couldn't believe that price tag. I thought how can that possibly be? Got them back from uh, got back to the hotel that night and had a look inside and lo and behold it says men's ten and a half, I believe that is, leather upper, uh, man-made material. And uh, I'm not sure if it shows it here. Yeah, made in China. Uh, so I was a bit disappointed. I thought, oh no, I was thinking I was getting myself a pair of authentic cowboy boots from Tombstone, Arizona. And uh, turns out they're just made in China. Um, but I guess the story I can always tell people is, Okay, they might have been made in China, but I bought them in Tombstone, Arizona. So that's that's sort of legit, right? And hey, if it means it's only going to cost me 140 bucks, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, so I thought to myself, uh, here I am in Tombstone, Arizona with a pair of cowboy boots being all authentic. And lo and behold, they're, they're made in China. 
Um, but having said that, I uh, went to a boot store that sells this kind of stuff here in Vancouver um, in a, a place called Gastown. It's sort of our touristy area. It's the old part of the city. And there is a store there that actually sells cowboy boots. And I went in thinking, I'm just going to check and see, uh, do you guys sell this boot? And in fact, they have this exact boot, like with the little ring and everything on it. And the guy said, yeah, yeah, here they are, $350. And I was like, whew, okay, well, I actually already have these boots, and I got them for a lot less, and this was in Tombstone. So the guy was sort of, I guess he was realizing he wasn't going to make a sale, so he pressed me for details. He said, and I, I gave him the joke about, you know, I, I have a pair of boots that I thought were from uh, Tombstone, Arizona. Turns out they're from China, but they were bought in Tombstone, Arizona, so that counts, right? And uh, he started with a sales pitch of like, well, you know, if, if that's the case, then they're not well made. They're not going to breathe. And this material is probably like more of a Naga hide fake thing. I think it's really only leather down there. Um, so, you know, all those times you're riding your house, your horse out on the range, you're going to have a, a, a problem with your he feet heating up. And I kind of thought, yeah, but I don't do that. I don't ride horses. I need these things basically for one or two purposes ever, and I, it was more of a, a, a thing that I bought while in Tombstone. Now, um, I'm going to be showing in a future video, up to this point, I had actually got uh, these boots here, which, uh, what's the brand on here? Oh, it just says waterproof. Um, yeah, these have been a decent pair of boots, but they're, they're smaller, as you can see. They only come up halfway up the calf, and um, I've been using those for my cosplay purposes, plus when the weather's bad, uh, these have been pretty decent. And I'll be getting to the reason why these have been demoted from being used much ever again in a second. But what was really important to me when I saw these boots is that they actually go right a nice length up the calf. Remember when I went to Vancouver Fan Expo back in 2015? I wore uh, an X-Wing outfit. These are actually pretty close to what the, um, the X-Wing boots look like. And with the little uh, metal bandolier thing with the little silvery button or bullets in there, uh, it was a pretty close comparison. Now here's that other boot that I showed you. This was the one that I had for the longest time beforehand. As you can see, uh, given the fact that it, it barely goes over the ankle, it's alright. And I used it when I did my Rebel Trooper outfit for uh, Vancouver Fan Expo just last year. Because this is pretty close to what uh, the Rebel Troopers wore. Uh, but, and, and, you know, it just secures with a little zipper. It's not a cowboy boot. So that's how I would take it off there. Um, these boots have been doing me pretty decently for a while. Uh, but unfortunately, as I say, all of this became, all of this came to a head uh, last winter. We had a pretty severe amount of snow, more than we've had in previous years. And I wore these the first time because I thought, oh yeah, okay, I'm, I'm at least going to use them for the purpose they originally intended for, I'm going to wear these in the snow. And it was so bad, the snow, and these boots, I guess, because they've been around for a while, I can't remember which one it is, but I could feel like a puddle forming inside there, and by the time I got home that night, one of my feet was soaking wet. I mean, the sock was just drenched, and I thought, uh, these are going to be retired now, I can't really use these in the snow, I'll use them for the occasional outfit, and that's it. What the heck else am I going to use? My cowboy boots. Because honestly, these things, they do really well in the snow. They're, um, they're a little bit thin, so if I wear like good thick wintry socks, they manage. Uh, they've been holding up really well. Like I've, I've now put them through their paces whenever I was uh, wandering around in the snow, because it was, it was lasting for weeks. And the tread on them is still not bad. You know, it's still got some grip there. I hope you can see that. I'm not sure if it's coming up. Um, they, they aren't designed for snow. I mean, they're cowboy boots. So I would be a little bit like likely to slip uh, as I wandered through a lot of icy areas. But uh, I just thought, okay, well, you know what? For something that I got on a bit of a whim, I'm just going to use these things in the snow. Uh, there is a pair of boots that is better designed for the snow that I've kind of had my eyes on. 
And depending on certain things, I might actually go for that. There may be a future boot video coming up on my channel here. But uh, we're concentrating on the cowboy boots. Now, if you've seen my Assassin's Creed tour of Boston, these were the boots that I wore when I ran around there. Uh, and um, speaking of Assassin's Creed tours, uh, last summer I went to England and I actually did an Assassin's Creed Syndicate tour of London and I wore these boots for that as well. In fact, uh, my running joke that I had with people before the trip was, I'm going to be scaling Nelson's Column in my cowboy boots. And this is about as far as I actually got. Turned out it was a lot harder to climb up with these boots on than I thought. But uh, I, I one very good thing about that trip, now we were actually over in the UK for a long period, and I remember thinking to myself, okay, I've got to pack pretty well. And remember, I've got a top hat in the suitcase. Uh, I've got to pack, pack pretty well here for this trip. How much footwear am I going to wear? And I thought, well, you need the cowboy boots to do the Assassin's Creed uh, London tour. Can you actually get away with just wearing cowboy boots on the entire trip? And I did, and honestly, these worked really, really well. One of the other places we stopped by on my trip was actually my aunt's farm in Derbyshire. And I was well prepared for wandering through fields full of questionable brown material. There was no trouble at all. Uh, these boots were designed for that kind of purpose, so that was great. The other thing was, and I'm, I'm actually going to, I'm going to tuck my pants over the boot in a second here, because there were a couple of times we went to these like special um, uh, organized uh, family reunion things in, one of them was at like a fancy golf, uh, t uh, golf course place. And uh, my cousin's husband looked at my footwear and said, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to get away with those, but what I ended up doing is I actually just tucked the top of the pants over the boots and they very easily chameleoned themselves into looking like a pair of, you know, fancy nice shoes. You could totally go to a golf course or a, a gala evening in these and okay, you'll, you'll be clomping along. Somebody who's uh, listening carefully is going to go, are you wearing boots? <clears throat> but uh, you know what? This is actually very versatile. I was, I was able to get away with these boots looking like nice sort of dress shoes. So I was really, really happy about that. Anyway, there we go. There are my cowboy boots. So uh, I, yeah, having had a few raised eyebrows at work due to the big snowy winter we just had, I thought I'm going to tell the story of these because uh, there's quite a lot to tell and they've come all the way from Tombstone via China <clears throat> uh, and they've been to Boston, they've been to London. These are well-traveled boots and really, really versatile and I'm very, very pleased with that what ended up being just a $140 purchase. And as I say, there is another pair of boots that has caught my eye for a very specific reason. One that I will use in the snow. As I say, these are a little bit, a little bit slippery and I don't know that they really have a lot of durability and long-term wear and tear designed in them because they are kind of, well, according to that shop in Gastown, they are cheap. So uh, I don't know that I can rely on these to get me through the snow next year, so I do have a pair of boots in mind. And maybe you'll see another video like this with regards to those new boots if, if I end up getting them. But until next time, uh, I'm going to stroll on out of here and say we'll uh, see you down the rabbit hole.